on deck three aft. It is breakfast time. Josh is sitting across the table from me. Actually, and I think it's the Scarlet. Actually, he thinks it's the Scarlet. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Mallory's about to join us. We're gonna have breakfast. We're docked today at Half Moon K. And I know that the boys are gonna stay on board and do some cool stuff. I'm not sure what me and Mallory are gonna do today, but hang around, find out. It's sure to be a good day. We'll see you in a little bit. We have made it across to Half, Half Moon K Bahama. Yeah. And I can't see. Welcome to Fort San Salvador. And Mallory left her sunglasses, so she's blinded by the light. But uh, we're here, we're here. It's a beautiful day. Okay. Mallory's already in water mode. So she's going to brave the water in March and see if she can stand the temperature of the water. So, yeah, we're going to get a game plan together and then we'll be back. All right, we got out of the crowd. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So Mallory left her sunglasses on the ship. And so we stopped at one of the little huts to buy her a little pair. They're very cute. But what we want to point out is that um, they take your sign and sell card for payment. So I would imagine that they do that at most of the places. So there you go. All right, so one thing here at Half Moon K, right in the middle of the beach, they got this cool hut right here that's a bar and you can get the stuff to drink. Your drink packages do not apply on the island. You have to pay for your drinks, whether you have a drink package or not. And over here, last time we talked about it, when we were in here, this is food you can get. Oh, he's making some lobster and some shrimp and stuff under here. You get you something to eat right here that's not included. It's a little bit fancier in Seafood Shack. And there's another sitting area right here. And another little sitting area over here to my right. And then you can enter and go down to the beach. But Mallory says the water is nice today. And then out in the distance right here, you got the Carnival Dream. And when we were sitting here a while ago, if you ride horses, it'll take place on this beach way over here. There, We've seen them riding their horses down the beach. We uh, met a couple that are doing that. So we're interested to see how they enjoyed that. But just to give you a view of what you think this whole beach looks like, that is it right there. That is pretty packed with a lot of people. A lot of that's where the big condos are down there um, that you can rent and the clamshells and stuff. Um, we did find out from a couple though. If you rent a clamshell, there's no guarantee that your clamshell will give you a view to the beach. It may be blocked, and theirs was blocked, so they left it and came up here and sat in the tiki hut. So anyway, I'm gonna show you around the island a little bit more. Uh, beautiful day it's a tough way to spend a Wednesday and as you make your way down the pathway that runs parallel to the beach you have several entrances into the beach and you can just keep walking and here's the giant pirate ship that you can see from the ship um, there's lots of showers and stuff to wash the sand off and several places to take beautiful photos but man what a what a beautiful island uh, that carnival owns most time and i'm pretty sure all the time it's only one ship in port so i don't really see this island being able to handle more than two ships at a time so it's a, a real beautiful beautiful place here's the here's the cool pirate ship i don't think i got this when we were here in july but um i want to show the island barbecue the food we showed that in our july vlog so if you'd like to go back and see all that that's in the middle of the island i'm trying to get some more of the island we didn't have film of from our trip here in July. And you come in here, and there's the there's the bar. Try to let it adjust. But come in here and get you a cool place to get you something to drink and hang out. Relax with some friends. Get you a beautiful view of the island. So you can pop out right here. You come up closer to the big, big cabanas. And then that's a beautiful view where you can relax and get you a drink and hang out with your friends, have a good time, enjoying life. Like I said, it's a rough way to spend your Wednesday. 
And as you continue past the pirate ship you get out on this road, there's no pathway no more. You can just make your way down here to where all the cabanas are. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. And the island's covered in chickens like Key West. Which, you know, is unique because I just hear a bunch of roosters crowing in the back. And if you want some AC, you're going to have to get one of these cabanas because it's about the only AC you're going to get on the island. I haven't even found a bathroom yet uh, with an AC in it. So here you go. It's another one of the entrances. This is how you can get to one of the smaller cabanas or the bigger ones if you rent one. Uh, like I said, just continue parallel to the uh, beach and just walk down the pathway from where you get on the ship and it'll just lead you right down here. And as I continue to make my way down the island, I want to point out that there are plenty of restrooms and change houses on the island. So don't be afraid that you're going to be having to walk way across the island to get to a restroom or a place to change if you bring your clothes and you change in out of your swimwear because you don't want to go back across wet from getting in the water so feel free to bring your clothes there's plenty of places to change to go swimming then change back into some dry clothes to ride the tender back over to the cruise ship and once you make it past all the big cabanas you enter in stingray adventure but i also like to point out that on the island this is a rock walking sorry and running course and it gives you mileage and stuff so if you're getting off the ship and you still want to get your exercise in and you want to run jog walk you still can it maps it out for you and gives you your mileage as you're making your way around the island so we're gonna go down here and check out and see what's in stingray adventure i'm still walking i haven't found any stingrays or any adventure yet the only adventure i've had so far is dodging side by sides and golf carts from the workers driving up and down this path. So uh, outside of that, I really haven't found anything except for down on this part of the island, there's a lot of trees on the beach. So there's a lot of shade and it's nowhere near as peopley down here. So if you're willing to walk a little bit, you can get down here and get into a place where there's not a lot of people and get a little bit more peace and quiet. A lot of people have chairs pulled underneath these trees right out here on the beach for some added shade. So I came a little bit further and I found caution, horse crossing. So this is where the horses are coming if you choose to do the horseback riding on the beach, which is fantastic. But as usual in my life, I'm too big for it. So I did just see a bike tour heading this way, but the horses are coming across and entering the beach right here to start the horse beach tour. So I'm gonna go walk out here and let y'all see what is going on the beach but you know Josh's life story either too tall too heavy or too tall and too heavy together but you know Jesus still loves me so I'm good and Amanda and the kids so and JLo JLo loves me so anyway but look at this view coming out here at the beach There's our friend from Bro Bridge that we met in the casino way down here by us. So. Bro Bridge, same thing. No, same thing, same thing. Same thing. But look, it's not as po populated down here. It's beautiful. Uh, walk a little bit. Get down here where it's nice and quiet. Crazy. We're gonna put that in the vlog. <laughs> so we met a lot of great people today. Uh, we met a wonderful husband and wife from Oklahoma. Several yeah. of them from Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. The three main <laughs> couples we've talked to the most were from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And then we got our friends from South Louisiana. Yeah. But uh, we're selling away from Half Moon K. Thank you. Thank you. Arm will get tired. 
It does. <laughs> anyway, let me prop it up on my knee. Thank so, you. So, anyway, we just, Carnival Liberty just cut across from behind us. Yeah, I think Princess they're actually Cave. not moving at the moment. They're, or they're, they're going like really slow. They may be hitting a, a Half Moon K. I don't know. They just left Princess K, which is yeah. right next to Half Moon K, and cut yeah. across the back of us. But we're hanging out um, inside the Marketplace. Marketplace Lido Deck 10 uh, buffet area. They're yeah. getting ready for service. The man is forcing me to go to the MDR. But Half Moon K, how was it? I love Half Moon K. I didn't get in the water today. Mallory did. Mallory did. Um, and I've heard from several that the water, you know, temperature was a little cool right at first, but it was yeah. fine. And, um, uh, I just didn't want to deal with all the sand, quite frankly. Overall, it was a great time. We sat down and talked to uh, Roger and Norma. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say their last names from Oklahoma. We sat there about three hours. Mm -hmm. Fantastic conversation. Yep. Uh, Super cool folks. May involve a, a tier or two, talk family and life. Yep. Uh, a lot of family, a lot of life. Mm -hmm. uh, Talk about dads and brothers, and it just—it was a great conversation. Yes, it was. Getting to really know people. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic that you're filming on a cruise ship if y'all decide to do this, and people just walk by looking at you like, "What in the world did we just do?" <laughs> or they stop you and they're like, "Hey, are you a YouTuber?" It's like seeing it's like seeing out in the wild. Out in the wild, as a YouTuber in the wild. Yeah. Anyway, um, Mallory watered it. Man stayed in the tiki hut. Mm -hmm. I walked over, and which you've seen the great footage that yeah. I recorded. Um, and Philip stayed on board in his bed watching a movie. And I walked back down the beach and got my feet soaking wet. So I'm in flip flops, <laughs> which I hate to be. He does. But um, we're gonna go to the MDR, and uh, I want I do I want to share this message. If you're on a cruise, get to know people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great people you're missing out, out there, if you don't. and you can make friends with a lot of good people, lifelong friends with people that absolutely you can share a lot of memories with and. Um, really get to know and it's awesome that you get to see who gets put in your life and paths you cross so yeah anyway hey let, uh we'll just go shower it up and uh go to the mdr Yay. peace Bye.